hello to everyone and welcome to this new video today we are going to see the soil identification and we are going to start with part one which is the sieve analysis in this video we are going to define the soil identification describe sieve analysis and we are going to use microsoft excel to plot the so-called gradation curve at the logarithmic scale therefore what is the soil identification the soil is a mixture of particles with different size, different physical and mineralogy composition. This is why it is an heterogeneous medium. Therefore, it's important to recognize and individualize accurately and completely its composition. It is the soil identification. There are two main laboratory tests used for the soil identification, which are the particle size distribution which is to determine the different size and the atterbell limit to determine the soil plasticity the particle size distribution of a soil sample involves determining the percentage by mass of particles within the different size ranges the particle size distribution of a coarse soil can be determined by the method of sieving the particle size distribution of fine soil or the soil fraction of a coarse soil can be determined by the method of sedimentation. Now let's describe a sieve analysis. A specimen of dry sample of mass M TOT is shaken mechanically through a series of wire square mesh sieve with successively smaller openings. The oversized material are trapped above the screen while undersized materials can pass through the screen. In order to interpret the sieve analysis, we should weight the soil fraction retained on each sieve and call it MI. Then we can calculate the percentage retained on each sieve by dividing the weight retained on each sieve by the original sample mass. We can determine the percent, the percent passing or percent final by starting with 100 and subtracting the percent retained on each sieve as a cumulative procedure. So what about the gradation curve? The result are shown in a cumulative frequency diagram, which is the, the gradation curve, where at the X scale, drain diameter are plotted in logarithmic scale and on the y-axis percentage by mass or weight passing in an arithmetic scale so this is an example here where at the x-axis we have the diameter of uh, the grain size in millimeter at the logarithmic scale and on the y-axis we have the final percentage at arithmetic scale and we can roughly do a soil classification using this graph when the soil grain is less than 0 0.02 we can say that we have clay soil when it is between 0, 0 0.02 and 0, 0 0.06 we can say that we have seal and so forth generally dx represent a grain diameter for which x percent of sample will be finer than for example, if I say D10, it means that 10% of particles are finer than this diameter. Therefore, two coefficients have been defined to characterize soil based on the distribution of the particles, which is the uniformity coefficient and the coefficient of curvature. We are going to use these two coefficients in the next videos in order to classify the soil now we are going to move to an example using ms excel in order to understand practically how do we implement all what we have seen this is a sieve analysis example where in this column we have the diameter of uh, the sieves in this column we have the mass retained on each sieve as we have described and here we are going to compute the cumulative mass retained on each sieve 
so the first one is going to be zero the same as here and the next one will be equal to the one before plus this one and it's the same formula I can double click here and I will have the cumulative the cumulative mass retained on each sieve now I can compute the cumulative percentage of particle retained on each sieve which is the mass retained on each sieve which is this the cumulative mass divided by the total mass of the sample which is this and I can block this one because it is constant and I can double click here in order to apply the same formula everywhere I have to multiply by 100 in order to have it in percentage so I multiply multiply by 100 and again I apply the formula good so this is a cumulative percentage of particle retained on each sieve I can finally compute the final particles on in each sieve which is 100 minus the cumulative percentage of particle retained on each sieve which is this I must put the equal minus this and I press enter I double click here and I have the percentage of finer particles on each sieve now I can plot the gradation curve which is I, I recall you the graph where on the x-axis we have the particle diameter at the logarithmic scale and on the y-axis we have the finer particle at arithmetic scale so in order to draw a graph on Excel we go to insert and we are going to take this this graph take this kind of graph and we right click we take select data we are going to delete this series which is already there and we are going to add a series which is the gradation curve gradation curve on x-axis we say that we have the diameter of particles and on the y-axis we say that we have the particle the finer particles and I take okay okay you see this is a gradation curve but the problem is that it's not the shape that we saw in the PowerPoint presentation why you have guessed that the problem is that the x-axis is not at the logarithmic scale so in order to put it at the logarithmic scale we are going to double click on the x-axis and we are going to choose logarithmic scale here as excel does it automatically the other problem with my graph is that I don't want the vertical axis to cross the curve. So I would like to displace this vertical axis from 1 to 0 0.01 for example. So I come here at vertical axis crosses instead of automatic I choose axis value and I put 0 0.01 which is this position and when I close it you see I have displaced the vertical axis so this is the gradation curve that uh, we explain in the PowerPoint presentation and using this gradation curve we are going to see in the next videos how to classify the sort this was all for this video if it was interesting just like subscribe to receive the notification of the next video and comment if you have any improvement to propose thank you